What's up and welcome to the channel. My name is Hegshot and thank you guys for joining us for a review on the Tolster 2.0. Uh, those are my words, not theirs. But these are the new Tolster holsters that a lot of people have been waiting on. And we have two brand new models to show you guys. Uh, Tolster has been a great company. We've been working with these guys for a year and a half now. And what they've done is they went from the old band saws and belt sander uh, method that actually worked pretty well. It was a foam, uh, foam injection type process. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to know every single detail about it, but it was an older method. But what they did now is they finally have a CNC machine, uh, which basically takes every single holster and it makes it exactly the same. They still have uh, hand finishing that they do to polish them up and all that kind of stuff, but they're more consistent and they can, uh, they can push out a better product. That's what they want to do. Ultimately, they want to continuously get better, and they have definitely done that with their uh, new Tolster uh, Profile holsters. Uh, so we're going to talk about them. Like I said, we have two brand new models. If you've literally just been waiting on a holster for the PPS M2 or the MMP45 Shield, everything is the same. Uh, discount code HEG87, 15% off, uh, is still running and has been an amazing run on this discount code. And it's been a long running discount code and that's what we like, something that's withstanding. So like I said, if you've been just waiting on these guns and these holsters to come out, uh, you can still follow the link down below and uh, save yourself some money on these. Otherwise, if you just want to stick around and know a little bit more about the new design, uh, some of the features, some of the very unique features on these holsters, and why I personally think this is the best inside the waistband holster, not only the best, the most comfortable for sure. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the features that make the uh, Tolster holster unique. Go ahead and pop it in the holster and kind of show you some of these things. Uh, first thing you will notice is that it is a very minimalist type of design. So they have cut away all the extra material that you don't really need. One thing that you'll notice with some holsters is that even with a gun like this, you'll have a bunch of extra material and it's not needed at all. It doesn't help you. It really just hurts you. Uh, the smaller the gun, especially, you definitely want to be able to keep the gun as small as possible. And that's the first thing that really uh, stands out to me about these holsters is how minimalistic they are. Now, some people have had concern in the past with our Tolster video saying, oh my God, the whole trigger guard isn't covered. That's something you don't have to worry about. I mean, it would be, it, you literally couldn't get anything in that little gap to go all the way up here and pull the trigger back. It just wouldn't happen. So these guys undercut this trigger guard right here. So that way, whenever it's actually in your pants, you can uh, get a, a nice clean hold on the gun. You can get a good grip on it and pull it out and not have to be fumbling around with extra material that's on the holster. Also, the magazine release is exposed. For me, this is a really good thing because whenever I have this holstered, I'll chamber around, I'll reholster the gun, release my magazine, top it off, and put it back in. I have access to that. Never, ever, ever have I ever hit, inadvertently hit this and caused it to, uh, uh, to pop out of the gun while I was wearing it. Uh, it would take a lot of force and, you know, my, uh, my fatty sides just are not strong enough to do that. So that's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, you have a full sweat shield up here. All right. So that's going to keep the gun off of you. Um, also coming around to this side, what you'll notice is that with a lot of different types of holsters, basically the way the gun looks on the outside is how the holster looks. So you'll have your slide serrations and it looks all fancy and things like that. Tolster does away with that because they want the least amount of drag as possible on the gun. Whenever you have, uh, you know, shapes and you have cutouts uh, in there for your slide serrations and things like that, it causes more drag on the gun, which is going to ruin the finish uh, earlier and prematurely than what it needs to be. Uh, so they try to keep as least amount of drag off of the gun as possible. So all of their retention is in the trigger guard and that's where it needs to be. All right, this is one solid piece right here, and that's actually what it's going to click into whenever you go to chamber it. Also, you have adjustable retention. All right, so I cranked this one up just a little bit, but you can adjust that to whatever you like. All right, so it's going to be a little bit easier to come out. One of the cool things is, is that if you've never carried uh, appendix style, uh, this is a good holster to do that on. Because not only can you have your uh, clip at a slight angle for a regular inside the waistband type of carry, with just 
unturning this one screw, now you can take it and adjust it to zero degrees, anywhere from zero to 15 degrees. You can adjust that and then tighten it back up. So that is a very neat feature. Like I said, if you've never tried uh, appendix carry, that way you don't have to, you know, buy one holster for appendix or buy another one, you know, for inside the waistband carry. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the clip, some people don't think about this, but this clip is probably the best quick clip that I've used. Uh, reason being is because a lot of the clips will, will do this little motion right here and then they'll stick up. You know, they'll just kind of stick up a little bit like right here. Uh, so they will curl underneath your belt. But if you're doing any kind of drills or you're up under a car or anything like that, you're going to want this thing to be flush up here and just curl underneath. Uh, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, inch and a half clip. And they also have the uh, uh, inch and a half soft loops, which will work with this design as well. What they'll do is they'll go by hand and go over all these edges. And you can tell that all these edges are really smooth. There's nothing that's going to cut you. Uh, so it's a mixture now of CNC machine and uh, a CAD design and, you know, all the programming and all that kind of stuff that makes it really, really fine-tuned. But also the hand detailing that they do as well is pretty awesome. Uh, this is open right here. All right. So whenever you you have your gun in your you know your pants and things like that you're going to build up lint that allows a lot of that lint to just fall right out and not build up on the inside of the holster all right so let me go ahead and show you how the m p shield looks on the inside of the uh, of the holster it just looks awesome this is another one of my favorite colors cryptic uh, typhoon uh, it looks really really awesome i love the pattern uh, it's it's kind of a little bit darker pattern than what it used to be um, I believe there's only one company that has the rights uh, to this particular pattern and then other companies can buy it or buy the rights to use it or whatever, however that works. But uh, this looks really good as well. And you can see, same type of deal. Undercut in the trigger guard, get a good grip on it. Magazine release is exposed right there. And then your sweat shield going up. High guard for your uh, sights and the same type of deal. And all of the holsters with the quick clip anyways, have your adjustable cant so you can get that exactly where you need it and tighten it back up. Uh, so one other thing, besides the, uh, the comfort, the quality of these holsters, uh, all that good stuff, adjustable can, adjustable retention, all of that, they're also so quick and easy to just pull on and off. And then once you get that clip tuck, tucked up underneath your belt, it is not going anywhere. Whenever you draw this thing out of your pants, it's going to stay right in place uh, and your gun is going to come out uh, really, really easily. And it's also going to be secure while you're wearing it. So a lot of cool features, a lot of cool colors. And that's one thing I wanted to show you guys as well is just how many cool colors they actually have. Uh, the carbon fiber and then the, uh, the regular uh, materials. One other color I want to show you guys, and I'm kind of ruining a, a future video here, but I just had to show this to you, was the Cryptic Yeti. Uh, this is a very, very cool design. I've never had a Cryptic Yeti from, uh, from Tolster, and they, they, they actually sent me one, and uh, it just looks awesome. I mean, you can tell it's kind of the same type of design there, but that... It just looks good. I don't know, and especially with the black uh, accents with your uh, retention screw and your and your clip right here. I don't know. I just thought that looked really awesome, so I definitely wanted to show you guys that. Now, if you're anything like me, uh, another benefit to these is if you have ever worn any type of leather or suede backing holster, um, especially if you live in the South, uh, it is very hot and it causes you to sweat. An extra benefit with the Kydex holsters uh, is that they actually uh, keep the sweat away from you. They don't cause you to sweat more than what you're going to do anyways. Uh, so that's a uh, definitely an extra benefit. And of course you have your sweat shield up here that's going to keep the gun off you. Uh, but any kind of leather or suede, I just can't wear it because it's uncomfortable. One other feature that I thought was really cool that they've kind of added to this uh, new design is they actually have a little cutout here for your sights and you can kind of see how it's raised right there. That way, if you have any sights that are a little bit wider than what a standard sight will be, that'll give you a little bit of room so it doesn't rub up against there. Uh, just another one of those things to keep the drag off of your gun. 
Uh, so with everything that we have talked about from the colors, the features, uh, the, the critical thinking that they have put into this and not just making another uh, inside the waistband or appendix style carry holster, uh, they've really thought about this. They've really put a lot of time and effort to get this new design as best as they possibly could. And I got to tell you, I mean, I didn't really think that they could get any better. I've been talking with these guys now for a while about the upgrade process and um, they're better. <laughs> they are definitely better. Now, one of the best things about these, and like I said in the beginning of the video, is they are actually 15% off through our channel. Um, if you go to the link down below, you can go to the website and use the discount code HEG87. Um, they're around 60 bucks, 60, 65 bucks, and then your discount is gonna take a good chunk of that off. Uh, but it is definitely worth it if you want to try appendix carry if you want to carry inside the waistband comfortably and have a ton of cool features and just a really solid holster uh, i just don't think they get any better than this i really don't so many good things a great company great people uh, and they're discounted it just doesn't get much better than that in my opinion uh, so if you have stuck around with us until the end of the video, uh, I want to thank you first of all. And second of all, uh, for my loyal subscribers, come follow us on Facebook. We're actually going to be giving away one for the PPSM2 and one uh, for the uh, MMP Shield 45. Uh, so come follow us over there and uh, it'll be a, uh, you know, a little mini giveaway that we're going to be doing. So uh, like I said, we'll be giving one of these away and one of these. All right. Other than that, if you guys want to check them out, the link is down below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And as always, holding down.